How you doing? My name is Jeremy and I am addicted to hot sauces. Uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to make one of my favorite recipes. This is a habanero pineapple lime hot sauce that packs a ton of flavor. This stuff is outstanding. I put it on everything. Uh, so if you like this video, like and subscribe, strap in because today we're making goddamn yellow jacket. So this batch should make about four eight ounce bottles, but feel free to cut it in half or double it. I start with the juice from four fresh limes. I cut up fresh pineapple into bite sized chunks and use about two cups worth, which is about, I don't know, like 12 to 15 chunks. I'm using some frozen habaneros I had left in the freezer from last summer's growing season. I'm using seven frozen habaneros cut in half. In the summer, my vegetable garden consists of about four or five different varieties of hot peppers. But I might also grow a cucumber or a couple celery plants to keep my wife happy. She's not a big hot sauce fan. I use about a dozen fresh baby carrots, which will help thicken the sauce. It also adds color and a little bit more sweetness. In go the pineapples, lime juice, and one and a half teaspoons of salt. Then I'll throw in a couple of the spent limes for more flavor. Next, throw in three cups of vinegar. I typically use distilled white vinegar, but this time I'm going to try apple cider vinegar, just for another flavor profile. Now I used to cook my sauces in the kitchen, but now I use an outdoor burner. If you're going to cook this on your stovetop, do yourself a favor and open up a window to keep those like potent vapors from choking out your family. And I'm speaking from experience on this one. I simmer it down for about 30 to 40 minutes. I use the carrots as a gauge to tell me when it's done. When they're softened up a bit, it's time to come off. If you don't have a dedicated blender for mixing sauces like I do, make sure you wash it really good. Again, I'm speaking from experience. Puree on high for about one to two minutes. At this point, you want to give it a taste and adjust your flavorings as necessary. It then goes back on the burner for an additional 15 minutes. I added about half a cup more vinegar because it was getting a little thicker than I wanted it to. And about half a teaspoon of more kosher salt. And the last thing to do is bottle it up. The bottles I use are woozy bottles. They're 8 ounces. I get them from Amazon. And if you're really fancy, you can throw on some of these shrink bands. Which adds a touch of class. Especially if you plan on gifting anyway. You can find the shrink bands on Amazon too. And now the moment of truth. Nothing left to do but give it a little taste test. Let's give this a try. Like the, the flavor profile on that is so huge. It's like the first thing you get is the a taste of the lime, followed by the sweetness of the pineapple, and then quickly behind that is the sting from the habanero. And it is good. It's it's so huge. Like it just explodes in your mouth. It's fantastic. If you give it a try, uh, let me know down in the comments what you think. Uh, otherwise, like and like and subscribe. Uh, we always appreciate that. Uh, and until next time, I gotta get out of here. I'll see you later. Oh, take my bottle with me.